What's up lads, Josh here and welcome back to yet another video. This one is going to be of course the FIFA 15 predictions and it is going to be another transfer special. You guys have been commenting down below a lot recently about, you know, players that you want me to cover that have recently transferred and I've got five more for you guys today. But if you guys look at to buy some coins, do be sure to check the link in the description for UT Coins for you. It's selling for £3 on the Xbox and £4 on the PlayStation. Incredibly cheap coins. And uh, if you thought that was good, you can you can even get an additional 5% off using the code JG94. So in incredibly cheap coins if you still play the game. And of course you can pick them up for very cheap. But let's get straight into this uh, episode and uh, let's go cover the five players that you guys have picked. Alrighty guys, we're going to talk about a goalkeeper in this one and we're actually going to talk about Michel Vorm recently transferring over from Swansea to Spurs. Now Hugo Lloris is actually their, their main goalkeeper at the moment. Will, will, whether he will stay there or not we will have to wait and see. Maybe this means that uh, Lloris kind of wants out but maybe it just means Michel Vorm will be a substitute goalkeeper but I actually think he's you know he should be a main goalkeeper so it doesn't really make sense for me and um, for him to move over to Spurs and be a substitute goalie when he could be the main goalie of course at Swansea but we'll have to wait and see um, what that's all about but he played 30 games this season let in 32 goals and uh, had seven clean sheets. It's a pretty decent record, but it's obviously not the best for a goalkeeper of his stature. Uh, I'm going to give him, well, uh, EA, I've actually started to uh, look at the head-to-head -head updates more and more, so uh, a lot of these are going to be more official or like more um, predicted, I guess, but uh, I'm going to give him an 80-rated goalkeeper card for Spurs. going to give him minus one diving, plus zero uh, kicking, plus zero handling, plus one reflex, minus one speed, and minus two positioning, and of course, keeping his weak foot and scum is the same. Moving on to the next player, guys, we are going to talk about Stephen Kolker recently transferring over from the demoted Cardiff to, of course, the most recently um, promoted QPR. So he, they will be in the Barclays Premier League next season, of course. Uh, Kolka actually played 38 games this season, scored five goals and got zero assists. A really incredible amount of goals for my, you know, in my opinion, for a team that finished rock bottom and lacked goals. They actually scored, you know, this centre back scored five goals, so a really credible amount for him. I guess the team, you know, the rest of the team wasn't really pulling their weight, so uh, I actually think he was a good individual performance from him last uh, last season. But you know, just Cardiff, uh, I guess the rest of his team just weren't up for it. Um, but I'm going to give him a 76 rated. QPR card of course uh, and I'm going to give him plus 2 pace, plus 5 shooting, plus 4 passing plus 0 dribbling, plus 3 defending and plus 2 heading and of course keeping his weak foot and skill moves this, uh, both the same Moving on to Barcelona's latest signing, guys. We're going to talk about Jeremy Matteo or Matteo. I'm really not too sure how you pronounce it. Of course, it is a French name. Um, but he actually played um, for Valencia last season and he played 42 games, scored four goals and got one assist. A really uh, good amount for, of goals again for once uh, for a centre back again. Uh, I'm covering a lot of those today uh, that, you know, they, they, they like scoring goals. So maybe that's the reason Barcelona have tried to sign him. But probably not. It's probably down to the defensive area. But anyway, let's get straight into his stats. I'm going to give him a 78 rate card because um, EA don't think he's going to change too much on his latest head-to-head -head update. He is still a 78 rated centre-back, so I'm going to keep him at 78. I'm going to give him minus two pace, plus zero shooting, minus one passing, minus one dribbling, plus one defending and heading. And quickly, guys, just before you mention it in the comments, because I know every time I make an editing, uh, editing mistake or a graphical mistake, people always mention it. So I'm going to say it, and I'm going to state it right now. It's meant to say 70 heading on Mateo's card on the right, of course, but it says 68 and uh, it obviously says 68 heading and that would be minus one heading but of course I meant to put it to 70 heading and I've, I've obviously failed the, the you know the graphical part of it so sorry about that but you know let's get straight on to the next player. Coming straight back to the Barclays Premier League, guys, we're going to talk about the next player, and it is going to be Bojan or Bojan. Really not too sure how, if it's a silent J or not. Um, strange name. Most strange names in this episode. Um, but we're going to talk about Bojan or Bojan, and he has recently transferred over from Barcelona to Stoke. Now, of course, his card is from uh, Ajax on FIFA 14 because he went there for a season-long loan. Didn't do too much, in my opinion. He only played 20 games and scored four goals and got four assists. It's a fairly... Um, average uh, season for him in my opinion um, and on the latest head-to-head -head update he has actually got a 78 rated card so he does look like he will be in for a downgrade unfortunately uh, Stoke fans but we're going to give him a 78 rated right wing card um, he can play striker and right wing as well but he seems to play the majority on his right uh, on that right side but uh, I'm going to give him plus zero pace minus three shooting minus two passing plus one dribbling minus two defending and minus one heading but he's still got four star skimmers and three star weak foot so he should be a pretty decent card on FIFA 15. 
Going straight back into the silver category, guys. We are going to talk about Riviere. I think that's how you pronounce it. Riviere, Riviere. I'm really not too sure. Once again, very, very strange name. Um, you know, a full episode of completely unpronounceable names. But anyway, let's get straight into him. And uh, he has played 19 games for Monaco this season, scored 10 goals, and got two assists. I think he plays the majority of his games at striker, although I think he does play sometimes on the right. I'm not too sure if that's uh, a false... Uh, fact or anything, but um, I'm going to give him a 74 rated silver striker for Newcastle. Of course, he recently transferred over to Newcastle from Monaco for I think about 5.5 million. So a very, very cheap um, buy, but it's going to be a strange one. It's, you know, sort of a hit and miss. We'll have to see um, because now they don't have Remy or, you know, obviously he went back to QPR or wherever, wherever he's going next. We're, we're going to have to find out. Um, but, you know, Newcastle needed a striker. So I'm, I'm not too sure if this is their only striker that they'll be going for because I think they've already signed Young, uh, De Young, CM De Young whatever his name is I'm not too sure um, but a lot of signings that have come from Newcastle already and another Frenchman so we'll have to see how he plays but I'm going to give him a 74 rated silver striker going to give him plus one pace plus six shooting plus one passing plus four dribbling plus two defending and plus zero heading bumping his skill moves up to three and keeping his weak foot at three Thank you guys for watching yet another episode of FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Predictions. You guys are going absolutely ham on every single video. So if you want to keep going ham, that would be absolutely awesome. Hit 300 likes again and I'll get another video out in a day or two. Um, these transfer specials are going down absolutely great. So if you want to comment down below five more recently transferred players and I'll see if I can cover them in the next episode. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like rating. If we could hit 300 again, that would be superb. Follow me on Twitter at Andreas94. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.